Howdy everyone, it's your buddy BP. I'm chilling down here in the tower in my pimp chair, just relaxing. Next to the uh, jukebox you can use to play that song Paul McCartney made for the game. I wouldn't recommend it. Not a very, uh, not a very effective way of making friends in Destiny. But what I would recommend is that you pick up one of these. Yeah, the Hung Jury SR4. This right here might be the best PvE primary legendary weapon you can buy in Destiny right now in year two. As you can tell, it's got a pretty sweet roll on it. First off, the scopes. Uh, the first one you get right at the start is the Candle IS-2. It's kind of a minimal iron sights. Next is the Torch HS-2, which is sort of a, a close quarters red dot sight. And lastly, and this is the one I use, the Signal MS-5. This is a scope that can highlight enemies at long distance. It's pretty useful in PvE when enemies are obscured to like darkness and things like that. The first special ability is Triple Tap. Landing three consecutive precision hits will return one shot to the magazine. This is pretty useful for taking on bosses so you can just keep firing and you won't have to reload so much. Next comes the second set of optional perks. The first is Extended Mag, which takes the uh, magazine from 16 shots to 20. Not too shabby. I don't know if I would recommend it though. For most situations I find that 16 shots is perfectly ideal. And besides, what you really want is this one right here. Whoop. Yeah, hand laid stock. Look at that. It costs a little bit of range, but look at the stability. It's almost completely maxed out, and you can definitely feel it when you're using this weapon. There's almost no jump to it at all. There's just no bounce. It just completely goes back to where it was after each pull of the trigger. This way you can just keep your sights on your enemy. Uh, you don't have to keep lining up your shots when you're moving around so much. Pretty damn sweet. The uh, next set of perks include Firefly, which cause uh, enemies who are killed by your precision hits with this weapon to explode. And lastly is Underdog, which boosts the range and handling when your health is low. Dog is okay for like PvP stuff, because uh, Firefly isn't going to come into effect so much, but for PvE, you most definitely need Firefly. Firefly is really good for just taking out tons and tons of ads at once when they're all clustered together or where they spawn in. You just land a quick precision kill on one of them and you can almost kill the others. If not, you can definitely weaken them. It's also a delight to use. It's just so satisfying when you land a headshot on an enemy and they just blow up. So good for PvE. In fact, you might remember I said you can buy this weapon. In fact, you might have noticed from the uh, weapon frame that has the Dead Orbit logo. So yeah, if you want to go over to Dead Orbit right here in the hangar, this guy right here, and looky look, has that exact same scout rifle. Of course, mine's uh, been upgraded to 290, but uh, yeah, I mean, it is the exact same scout rifle. So if you're looking for a great legendary weapon that you can use in your primary for PvE, and this is the best one you can buy in the tower. It is just so satisfying to use. For PvP, the Hung Jury is a fair choice. Uh, personally, I prefer something like Mina Multi-Tool or Laylock, something with uh, Third Eye, so I can keep track of my radar while uh, laying down suppressive fire, but when it comes to legendaries with great stability, then uh, this one cannot be beat. It's so easy to land successive uh, headshots with this thing. But what do you think about the Hung Jury? Do you like it as much as I do? Did you get a really killer roll on it? Let me know in the comments section. I love hearing back from you. And don't forget to spank that like button if you enjoyed it or you found it helpful in any way. I really appreciate your feedback. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.